and I know, I know you guys do some long ass days, right? So what's, what's the more, what's the most rewarding feeling for you guys? Is it when like, you got someone like a Jason or me, bro, that when I walk into the barbershop, I look like a crust, bro. I look gross. Right. And then you finesse the finesse, bro, nasty ass cut, bro. And then it's, it goes from rags to riches. Is that like seeing that you did that, bro. And, and now that person's leaving in a good mood or is it like, like finally, bro, you're done with all your 30, 40 cuts. How many cuts you do a day? And then it's like, oh, I finally get to go home and chill. But what's the more rewarding feeling, bro? No, I, the first one you said, I definitely more rewarding. I like when um, I can have a client when you're having a bad day or just going through it. You know, I could be that therapist. I could be that guy to talk to them. And whatever state happens in the barbershop or said in the barbershop, that stays in the shop. It's like I'm, a, I'm his lawyer. He's confidential. <laughs> you know, you sit in my chair. You could speak to me and you could, uh, you could get fresh. It's not only about the haircut. Some people like to sit down and just have a good conversation, you know. But if you get a haircut, it's even a plus. So especially when I cut someone that, that hasn't get a cut in a while, they're feeling down, and when they get a cut, I show them that mirror. After I just work hard on this, you like, you know what I mean? They're like, uh, let me see. I put that mirror on them. They're like, ooh, <laughs> ooh, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. I love that feeling. Cause I used to feel when I was a kid. I used to get blessed. Bro, you walk I, out of confidence to talk to, to the beautiful girl on the street, you know? That's what I'm saying, bro. I'll tell you, when I, bro, when I leave the barbershop, bro, yo, I'm on Snapchat, bro. I'm over here. Shh, 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 shh. I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Because, bro, I, I feel, look, bro, and I, I, I just feel amazing that it all ends, bro. But yeah, bro, I'm telling you, bro. I've been like to a, a barbershop in, like, two years, bro. I mean, I, I went to a barbershop, like, last year. I just don't be, I don't even be getting cuts no more, bro. It's that money. I guess, bro. I just I, like my hair, bro. I don't know. Nah, but I, well, I was going to say, bro, the barbershop, bro, is where I, I be letting off some steam, bro. I be just, bro, I be just thinking, bro, and I just be like, yo, bro, my life is this and that, bro. And I be just talking to the barber, bro. Sometimes, like, Omi's waiting for me to finish I, me speaking. I'm over here like, yeah, bro, like, my fucking life, bro, is fucking crazy, bro. Is that, is that, like, bro, is that something you always want to do? Like, I know you wanted to cut hair, but, like, is talking to people and getting to know people something that you really wanted to do? Or is that just, that just came along with the journey? Bro? Yo, I feel like as a barber, too, you could be kind of like a therapist, bro. Like, people just, like, are, are they, you're just cutting their hair and they get comfortable and just start talking. That's a fact. That's exactly what we are. We have a lot of jobs, bro. We are a therapist, cut hair. We do. Barbers used to be uh, surgeons back in the day in the barber school. So is that, is that what you learned in barber school, bro? The history that they were teaching you? Yeah, everything, everything. Yeah, I took advantage of it. What was that? What were we talking about again? What were we on? A therapist. You're a therapist, bro. Yeah, you're a therapist, bro. Yeah, something before that. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> but yeah, nah, but I was going to say, like, bro, like, I'm telling you, like, there's nothing, bro. There's nothing like going to the barber shop, letting off some steam, bro. You know you're going to get out fresh, bro. And then you're just, bro. It's like every time I go to the barber shop, bro, I don't even care, bro. I'm. I get out, bro. It could be snowing, bro. I could be in shorts, bro. I fucked up or whatever. And I'm going to be walking home like, dun, 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 dun. you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be feeling awesome, bro. I, I, like that, I like that industry because it's not only the barbershop. Like I always go, go to these shows. I learn more. I see the newest equipment. Yeah. And I reinvest in myself all the time. And I like I, taking trips to different states to see these shows because I can just take a little break from reality, go to these shows, network. That's why I love cutting hair. The network that I get. You never know who's going to sit in your chair. You never know what this guy knows or who he knows. Yo, I know. Everybody gets a haircut. I mean, not everybody. I guess I don't get a haircut. Yeah, but, like, haircuts. people that get haircuts get haircuts often. They got to be coming back often. And I think that what's cool about being a barber is you really make a connection with them. Like, there's people that, that are, it's like, they'd rather, they'd rather, they'd rather like, cheat on their girl than cheat on their barber, bro. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's really how it is, bro. 